Hey there, I'm Leslie with the Bookmobile Extension Services Department and I want to share something cool with you. NASA at my library has sent this take and make and it is to help us be citizen scientists and help Globe Observer find mosquito habitats. So come along as I show you what's in your kit. And what you will need is a smartphone. You will find two info sheets. One is build a mosquito larva trap and the other is mosquito habitat mapper. And that's what we're going to do today. Here is our microscope that will clip onto your smartphone. We have a neat sticker. I am a globe observer and this is from observer.globe.gov. And of course, the NASA at my library. It also comes with a pipette when we are getting our samples. Your microscope does swivel and you're able to swivel it out to turn on both the light and the UV light. You will find that you can get a better image if you remove your phone protector. It just allows the microscope to get a better placement. And once you have it placed over the camera on your phone, it should look like this. So what we do need to do is get the Globe Observer app. Here's a video explaining the importance of this project. Have you heard about the new Mosquito Habitat Mapper from Globe Observer? We want your data about mosquito habitats on the ground. Of course, you can't see mosquitoes from space, but you can see the factors that affect where mosquito habitats might form. Precipitation, temperature, uh, soil moisture, all of these things can be tracked from space and used to model where mosquito habitats might be found. But we need your help to figure out where they actually appear. The first step is to look around for mosquito habitats. We're looking for water. This could be a natural source, like a pond or a puddle, or even water in tire tracks, or it could be trash left on the ground by human beings. Anything that collects water, as small as a bottle cap, is a potential mosquito habitat. So how do you identify a mosquito habitat? First of all, download the Globe Observer app on your phone. That will walk you through the steps to identify mosquito habitats. First, it'll ask you what type of habitat you're observing, whether it's a tire, a piece of garbage, a pond. Then you can take a picture so that we know exactly what type of habitat you're looking at. After you've identified the mosquito habitat, the next step is to look to see if you actually see mosquito larvae. We're having you look for larvae, which do not transmit disease, but you may want to wear long sleeves or use bug repellent to make sure you're safe from any adult mosquitoes that might be around. All you need to collect a water sample is a cup or a syringe or some other way to scoop out the water. Then you can look and see if you see any mosquito larvae and count them. The third step, if you want to, is to take an attachment for your cell phone that's a microscope. And we have a key in the app that'll walk you through identifying certain types of mosquitoes that can be disease carrying. This is not required because it does require some extra equipment, but if you're interested, we'd love to have the data about what types of mosquitoes you've seen. And finally, what we want you to do is eliminate the breeding habitat if you can. Dump out the cup of water that had larvae in it or cover it with a, put a lid or a cover on the container. Anything you can do to prevent mosquitoes from breeding at that particular site. So please, if you can, help us to track where mosquito habitats are in your area so that we can match it up to NASA satellite data. I found some areas in my yard that I was thinking were mosquito habitats, and they were. Look at what I found. And up close. That microscope allowed me to get a really good look.
when we open the Globe Observer app, it gives us some options of what we want to do today. And then some information is letting us know what the project is and what we can do to help. There's also safety information. When you're out exploring, we don't want you getting hurt. And now we're ready for our first observation. My larva I found in a flower pot. I did take a photo. And we definitely saw them. And then I took some photos of the larva in the different areas that would help us identify what kind of mosquito it is. And that was it. I remediated it and I need to go out and do some more remediation. Let me show you a couple of other things that I saw under the microscope. That's a mosquito pupa. That's the next phase. And you might see those too. And I need to find out what that one is.